Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And tape measures are one of those things that you can never have enough of, as far as I'm concerned. And um, they range in size from, you know, really long to tiny. In fact, there are smaller ones than this, but I've kind of gotten rid of them because they were less effective. But um, I wanted to point out this one. This is my favorite little tiny tape measure. It's a six and a half foot Milwaukee. Um, there's the kind of the product number if you can... You can read that. It's 4825506. Um, it's got a couple of features and not a couple of features um, that make this one stand out. Um, as I go from my larger uh, tape measures to my smaller, I really, I've kind of zeroed in on the Milwaukee's. I really like the studs. Those seem to be a, um, just a rock solid one. I like the magnetic but I also, there are times I do not want the magnetic because it's a challenge. Um, but I do have a couple of um, other, other ones besides studs. The wide blade is nice. It's not super wide compared to the others, but it's definitely wider, so that can help. But anyway, um, why do I like this Milwaukee out of all of these? Well, I'm going to compare it. First of all, these, these are kind of junky. These are made in China. Um, this one, you know, it's... it's Spring-loaded like all of them, but even with the uh, lock locked, as you can see here, see if I, it's holding it, um, this still slides around. Um, not a real good design. It's, an, it's just like a shrunk, one of their um, kind of uh, old designs. I'm not a big fan of the key ring either. I usually, I mean, this came with one and I cut it off. This one has the ability to put a lanyard on it. Um, but anyway... Here's a Fat Max, a little bit better. Does have a nicer, stronger locking mechanism. This one's a six foot as well, which seems plenty reasonable. Sometimes when you get out of ways, they, they, they get a little persnickety with the lock because the spring tension's so high. But um, Milwaukee, very basic, no pocket clip or anything like the DeWalt. And the reason I don't like that, um, first, I'm not gonna use it, um, but it gets in the way, I found. And it's got a strong magnet here. And that magnet is designed, you know, to hold it, you know, to toolboxes or whatever. It can come in handy, but it also can make it a little more difficult to use. So I don't need a magnet on mine. Um, but the biggest thing is right here. If I slide these out, um, by the way, this has a, if you look at the, uh, the Milwaukee here, it's got a much larger lever to slide compared to the DeWalt. So this is much easier to kick on and off. You notice I struggled a moment with the DeWalt um, to try to get it to lock. In fact, I just did it again. So I like the big, the big locking knob on that. But if you look at these, what you notice is the Milwaukee has down here, that's right, metrics. Um, I don't know if DeWalt makes a small one with metrics, Probably, but then is it sold in this country? Anyway, I really like having the ability to switch back and forth. If I've got to do any uh, division with with lengths, you know, would divide, you know, four foot, two and three quarter inches into six pieces. It's like, oh, for goodness sake, what do I do? Turn it all into 30 seconds and then divide by four. I just switch to metrics and then I can do the, do the math quite rapidly. Um, also, if I'm doing anything with densities, um, guessing weights of things, um, I can just switch to metrics, know the density to get the volume, and boom, I know how much the thing probably weighs. Um, solid little choice for a uh, um, pocket carry. This one seems to have a different plastic, I'm just guessing, than the studs. Um, but then it's also a much lower mass, and I've dropped this. Um, it's it's well shielded with the shielded with the rubber bumpers, um, but overall, uh, great little tape measure. The snap on here, this one also has metrics. Um, the difference on the, on most tape measures, um, one of the locking differences is whether the lock is um, engaged deliberately or whether it's disengaged deliberately. Um, two ways to choose. Um, I, I use them both. I find this for um, more um, like lab or studio or workshop work um, can be a lot easier to use because I can just flick it out to the distance I need um, and leave it versus sliding it out and then having to lock it. It's, it's a little different or a two-handed operation. So if this one here, if I hook it on something, I can pull it out and it stays. Whereas if it's a lock, um, I have to deliberately lock it, and sometimes that can be a little more challenging. But anyway, 
Just bringing this one to your attention. I love the studs. I'll probably do a video on the uh, on that. Um, but for my small ones, um, that's what I I prefer. And these are way inexpensive. Um, and I like it better than the magnet. This can be convenient, but I find it gets in the way more. And then I don't don't need a pocket clip that gets in the way. Um, so with that, Doc out.